A few years ago, I reported on an unusual symbol on the wall of a small temple located among the Mayan ruins at Tulum in Mexico. At the time, I speculated that the symbol was related to observations of the night sky, observations that may have been used by Mayan priests to predict agricultural seasons. I produced a short video about this symbol and posted it on YouTube. The video generated a lot of comment, including a compelling idea from researcher Christoph Ramseyer. He suggests that this symbol may not be ancient, but is actually related to a mysterious cult that appeared during the Mayan Wars in the Yucatan. This is an intriguing idea. Let's start by reviewing the location of the symbol. Tulum is located close to the tourist destination of Cancun. We visited Tulum in the winter of 1991. A relatively new tourist attraction, the archaeological site at Tulum was already attracting busloads of tourists. There are a number of large temples and structures, but the symbol we are interested in is located in one of the smallest structures on the site. This small flat roofed building. Sitting on a prominence, it is referred to as Structure 45, or Temple of the Wind. In this footage from 1991, we are listening to a park guide explain the function of Structure 45. He told us the temple was used for special rituals, some involving the burning of sacred objects on an altar. The door to this small temple faces north. The opening is only one meter high. You have to stoop to enter. Once inside, it took a minute for my eyes to adjust to the reduced light. I could see the remains of a low stone altar centered on the south wall. And interestingly, above the altar there was a small opening in the thick south wall. This portal pointed directly at the horizon. Moving back outside, I walked around to the south wall and looked back through the opening. When my eyes adjusted to the low light, I could make out a faint geometric shape on the lintel above the doorway. This symbol aligned perfectly with the hole through the wall. Back inside there was enough light coming through the door to allow the camera to capture the symbol. In this image my hand provides a size comparison. The symbol is about 12 centimeters across. Our guide wasn't aware of this symbol and did not offer an opinion. I assumed that the opening and symbol may have been designed to align with sunrise at solstice. But I returned the next day with a compass and determined that the rising sun would never align with that opening. My best guess now was that this opening played a role in the Mayan calendar, marking the passing of time as constellations rotated through the viewing window. You can see a more detailed version of this story in my original video. Just search for A Mayan Mystery in YouTube. This brings us to an interesting interpretation of the symbol. Anyone familiar with Mayan symbols and sculpture will recognize that this symbol is very different from the traditional forms. Christoph points out that the triangle is rare in Mayan characters. It is possible that this symbol may represent a synthesis of Christian and Mayan symbols, a synthesis that involved a violent conflict and the appearance of a mystical apparition. In 1847, the Maya of the Yucatan rose against their European rulers, a conflict that went on for over 50 years. At the outbreak of the conflict, Jose Barrera, a Mayan leader, stopped with his troops at a cenote. Close by, he noticed a cross carved into a sacred save tree. Miraculously, the cross spoke to one of the priests traveling with Barrera. The speaking cross gave good advice about how to proceed with the war. This was the voice of God. Word of this miracle spread quickly, and the cult of the speaking cross was born. A number of communities in the Yucatan created speaking cross shrines sacred places where advice could be sought from the speaking cross. It turns out there is a significant connection between the cult of the speaking cross and Tulum. 
In 1889, British surveyor William Miller traveled from British Honduras into the Yucatan. From the notes of this expedition, he leaves us this. Near Tulum is a particular cross, from which the Indians say the voice of God issues. And in all grave occasions, this cross is consulted, and they act in accordance with the directions given by the voice which issues from the cross. All the chiefs of the nation are appointed by it. A few years ago, a Yucatecan priest went by sea to Tulum. He was taken before this cross and interrogated, when the cross directed that the priest should be killed, which was promptly done, and since that time no priest has attempted to enter the country. I had a great desire to get as far as Tulum to see this wonderful cross, but my men refused to go beyond Santa Cruz as they stated that every stranger had to interview the cross, and they feared the ordeal. It is impossible to ascertain who is the manipulator of this cross, or to what extent the chiefs believe in it, or are responsible for the fraud. But I am sure that the majority of the Indians implicitly believe that the voice which issues from the cross is the voice of God. Miller's account of this period tells us that the cult of the speaking cross was present in Tulum. The Temple of the Wind may have played a role. Carnegie Institute researcher William Lothrop reported that the small altar in the Temple of the Wind showed signs of use as recently as 1924. We can speculate about the nature of this use. An interesting feature of Mayan traditions was the role of the oracle. The Maya would travel to special shrines to seek advice from a deity. Apparently a priest, hidden from view, would speak as if from another world. The island of Cozumel had a well-known oracle, a priestess who would advise on fertility. The temple at Tulum may have concealed an oracle, a Mayan priest animating the cross by speaking through the opening in the south wall. In this context, the symbol becomes a sacred object, confirming the power and presence of the speaking cross. It's likely that the original symbol was much more detailed than what we see today. Christoph Ramseyer studied the images of the symbol and attempted to reconstruct it. Analyzing the texture and highlights of the symbol, he created a number of possibilities, including this restoration. We are of course speculating about the origins of this symbol. We may never know its true purpose, but it is possible that this is a sacred icon from a recent and important chapter in Mayan history. If you are interested in doing some research of your own, you can actually visit the Temple of the Wind. A great excuse to visit the Yucatan and the beaches of Cancun. Tulum is close to all the attractions and resorts of the area. I've assembled more images and information related to this story at this site. To see our other science and technology related activities, visit our main site, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link.